Cannabis cryptic virus is a member of the beta partitivirus genus of virus family Partitiviridae. Like many viruses in its family, it is cryptic, meaning that its presence is symptomless in its host. It does not appear to be able to pass horizontally via physical contact with infected hosts, but is vertically transmitted via seed, and is considered likely to be widespread in many hemp cultivars. It is not believed to be the causal agent for the streaking symptoms referred to as hemp streak. Not much is known about it as of this recording. Primula malacoides virus 1 is known to infect fairy primula and was found to be strongly related to cannabis cryptic virus. PMV1 itself is related to members of the genus Partitivirus, particularly the mycoviruses that infect fungi. Rosalinia necatrix partitivirus 1, Ceratocystis partitivirus 1, Ceratocystis polonica partitivirus isolus 1 and 2, Helicobacidium mompa partitivirus V11, Heterobacidion anosum virus, Fusarium poe virus 1, Rhizoctonia solani virus 717, and others. It is considered possible that an ancestral virus may have been vectored by pathogenic fungi into Primula hosts and became what is now known as Primula malacoides virus 1. A similar sort of process may have established an ancestral virus in cannabis that is now known as cannabis cryptic virus. Examples exist of partitiviruses such as Serocystis partitivirus 1 that infect two different but closely related species of plant pathogenic fungi horizontally, and since partitiviruses can be associated with both fungi and plants as hosts, the possibility of horizontal transfer from fungal plant pathogen to plant host is considered, but more research is needed to make any conclusions. Cannabis cryptic virus was found concurrently and unexpectedly in hemp cultivars infected with hops latent virus under research conditions in 2011. The vast majority of viruses cannot be cured once they systemically infect the host plant, and viruses that are considered cryptic are extremely difficult to detect and identify, especially if many populations are already infected. Other members of Partitiviridae have been cured through culturing and thermotherapy in plants deemed economically viable to be considered for the procedure, so it may be a possible solution if uninfected specimens are desired. It is unclear what the ramifications of infection are for cannabis. Some viruses are relatively innocuous, while others can provide a net benefit in some cases. The lack of overt symptoms may mean that it is benign, but this remains to be thoroughly investigated.